Hi, just wanted to share this video with you. These are some violins I recently varnished for a shop. There were some well-made white violins. About the varnish I use, now, when I was a teenager in art school, I became interested in violin making. I quickly found out what a big deal the Criminis varnish was, and I found a recipe for varnish in one of da Vinci's manuscripts. This must be the lost varnish, I remember thinking. It called for juniper gum and walnut oil, so I took my teenage self out, found an Italian juniper tree in Seattle, slashed up the bark in a few places, and collected the resin. I went to a health food store and bought some walnut oil and mixed the two together. What I got was a thick, viscous syrup suitable for waterproofing small boats, maybe. I hadn't learned about cooking the resin yet. <laughs> a few years later, I went to work for Harry Duffy Violins in Miami, and there I got to see and work on examples of virtually all of the Criminis makers so I became very familiar with the varnish I was trying to copy. The varnish I use now took me decades to perfect, and only in the last year I've made its final adjustments. I'm not claiming it's the last varnish, but I will say it's made from ingredients available in the 16th century. It has a total color saturation of ruby red and less than one-tenth of a millimeter thickness. It's very fragile and is perfectly transparent. The ground coat I use well, that also took me decades to find, and it seems to have a positive effect on sound also. More about that some other time. These instruments are about 70% antique. There's a lot more that could be done to them if wanted. This is my typical varnish job, though. I've varnished about 1,500 violins for one of the major violin importers. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I'm open to the public, but most of my work is shipped in. Rates are reasonable. And if you like this video, please click on the link below for more of my violin maker videos. Thanks for watching.